My name is Steph Evans and I'm the lead FEA engineer at Ebotech CAE Limited. This video will take us through the installation and getting started with the MSE Apex Student Edition. We'll go through the registration process, relevant files, installation, embedded tutorials, the node limit and an academic curriculum kit. So let's get started. So if you Google MSC Apex Student Edition and follow the link to the MSC software site, here you can register, you'll need to input information on your university or college, photo ID demonstrating that you are a student and register. A couple of days later you'll receive an email with the username and password and you can follow the link to the download center where you can log in and access all the software. So once you've entered the download center, you'll need to follow the Apex link and download the necessary files. These include the release guide, the installation guide, the Apex software and the Apex documentation in English in this case and also the student curriculum kit. So you should have all these files downloaded before installation. You can take a look at the installation guide for hardware requirements such as processor, uh, graphics card and operating systems and you can also look at the uh, release guide to see where the software is with the latest review. So once you have the files downloaded it's a simple case of running the Apex executable accepting the run command specifying the default language a uh, number of different options so English in this case and letting Apex install. Uh, the full process takes about five minutes um, so just specify OK to the options that come up and uh, Apex issues this statement to say that the student edition is limited to 50,000 nodes. Uh, accept the license agreement and input your username and company name so potentially the name of your university it doesn't really matter what you put in at that level. You can specify the installation directory uh, and then press accept and the, the remaining software will install as per the uh, standard Apex process. So create a desktop icon uh, and now we can look at installing the documentation. Uh, so that was selected from the uh, original list of files we downloaded as well. Uh, documentation is important in terms of um, understanding what the software can do and there's a number of tutorials which are built into the tool sets which you'll need um, through this documentation. So we'll take the full documentation set and again run through that installation, a pretty quick process and the process completes. So once the software is installed you can open it up and look at some of the embedded tutorials and training within the Apex environment. So if you go into the online help and type in tutorial you can access a document, a HTML document which links to a number of basic tutorials to get you started. So there's a number of Apex Modeler, which is a preprocessor, and Apex Structures, which is the solver and postprocessor. Click on the link, and then videos will play, taking you through the process to aid your learning experience. So this is a simple example for the mid-surfacing operation. We've also got the concept of hover help. So any function within Apex, if you hover over the icon, as we can see here, uh, a video player appears. Uh, with instruction that takes you through the explicit example for that function. We've also got the Apex introduction card which is pretty useful for the new user to give a tour of all the functions and uh, operations around the display. So Apex is intended uh, for students to learn the software. There's a limitation uh, to avoid commercial work uh, such that the model sets to a limit of 50,000 nodes. So if we just look at this example and we've just meshed this component quickly and we use the probe tool uh, just to highlight all of the nodes in the model, a uh, simple model in this case, and we get the uh, node count in the left hand side. If we then try and mesh something with a uh, more detailed definition we can see that we hit the 50,000 node limit and Apex will not let us continue. So as well as the embedded tutorials and help options within Apex the student edition comes with the academic curriculum kit and this includes a number of examples 
uh, again all in HTML format which you can follow so there are a number of slides that can be used to back up a uh, strength of materials or mechanics type course with some class demonstrations and examples uh, from an uh, algebraic perspective and then there's video supports to back up these examples with an apex to um, uh, verify against those classical methods and back up the user's knowledge in terms of the correlation between classical and FEA methods. Okay, so we hope that's given you a good background in accessing the software and some of the help that's available to, to learn the software. Keep an eye out for many of the EvoTech tutorials and case studies that we publish to further enhance your learning experience.